exclusive back with another video i woke up this morning it's about 8 30 right now i woke up energized as fuck hyped as fuck and y'all want to know why because it's monday it's motivation monday it's money monday it's fucking mask monday and we got to get after it i also woke up energized as fuck because you know what i'm saying i had to cut off some toxic individuals this weekend so i wake up feeling better i wake up feeling refreshed i slept better last night i'll shit better when i go i'll take a piss better when i go but now, nah, what I want to talk to you all about, honestly, is fuck what they say. I had to cut these people off because, one, they were saying, my clothing brand's fucked, my YouTube's fucked, everything I'm doing is fucked. Not supporting me in what I'm trying to do, but yet they would call me their friend. They meant something to me. But they didn't want to support what I wanted to do, so fuck what they say. They told me when I first, first started making YouTube, yo, quit making YouTube, you shouldn't do it, it's fucked. What you're trying to say is fucked, you're this, you're that. So now, if I listened to them, I would not be talking to you right now. One, two, I would not have my true classic clothing brand, too, which is another thing they tried to say. Oh, it's fucked. You shouldn't do it. All this and that. Not supporting me, what I'm trying to do. Not liking what I'm trying to do. Because it makes them feel insecure that I'm doing better than them. You feel me? And that's what I want to talk to you all about, honestly, this morning, is fuck what they say. Fuck what they say. And I'm going to tell you why I'm about to get deep on y'all and I'm about to blow y'all fucking mind. People don't want you to improve especially people of the opposite sex when you're friends with them, that they don't want you to improve. This can go for guys and girls, so don't fucking call me a misogynist. I'm sick of that shit. I'm just not naive. I'm good with human nature. I know how people are. Guys and girls, they don't want you to improve when you're friends with them because one, they don't want you to look better than them. And two, they know for people of the opposite sex that you can do better than them. So when you um, are self-improving all the time, when you're getting other accounts to repost your stuff, when you're looking good, when when you look good as fuck, when your skin's busting, when you're glowing, when you're improving every day, when you're making money every day, when you're making $1,000 every week, people try to talk shit about you. They try to demonize you. They try to bring you back down to their level because they know that you are breaking that level and you are going above them. They are here and you are going every day. You're going up, 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 and up, and up. Like I say, it's only up from here. I say that shit every day. It's only up from here. So when I'm self-improving all the time, insecure people of the opposite sex that I may be cool with get insecure about it, get jealous about it, because they know that other people are looking at me, other people are chasing me, other people want to be around me, and that intimidates them. And this can go for y'all beautiful women out there too. Y'all have a boyfriend, you go into the gym every day, you're wearing a sports bra, you're looking good. You go into the gym every day trying to improve yourself, and your boyfriend's like, oh, you shouldn't do that, you're trying to look for attention. Who are you trying to look good for? because a guy's insecure, because he's beta as fuck, because he's bitch as fuck. Girls will tell me, they used to, oh, you shouldn't work out, you shouldn't do this, this, and this, who are you trying to look good for? I go out to a party, who are you wearing a chain for? Who are you trying to look fly for? I'm like, what? They get heated because you're self-improving, and they know deep, deep down that you can do better. So they get insecure by that, and they get, they get nervous. They get shook by it because they're too insecure to be around someone who's glowing and constantly improving. They want to stay here like a fucking stagnant when all I can do is go up. You feel me? All you can do is go up. And another thing I wanted to say is that fuck what they say, bro. Fuck what they say. Because if you're living your life through someone else's means, through someone else's vision, caring what other people think about you with your head on a fucking swivel, like a fucking asshole, like a fucking donkey, looking around insecure as fuck, caring what other people think, not wearing an outfit because you care about, about what other people think, putting on too much makeup because you you don't want to look bad, like, it doesn't make sense, I'm not dissing people who wear makeup, I'm using it as an example, so get my dick out of your mouth, what I'm trying to say is that if you constantly live your life caring what other people think about you, you will never ever be truly successful, if I cared what other people think about me, I would not be cussing in front of a camera right now, if I cared what other people thought about me, I would not wear crop, I would not wear fucking fold up my shirt like a crop top when I'm working, like I do in football, like Zeke, <laughs> shout out Zeke, but if I cared what other people thought about me when I'm in the gym, when I'm working, I would not have dyed my hair blonde if I gave a fuck about what other people thought about me, I would not do a lot of things if I gave a fuck about what people thought of me, someone, I get people that screenshot my stories all the time, I have 3,000 people on Snapchat, and 2,500 of them got my fucking cock in their mouth, they screenshot my stories, they do all this and that, they repost me, subbing me, trying to clown me and shit, and all I'm trying to do is spread knowledge, like I said to, um, people about pre-workout and shit and not that pre-workout's bad because i do pre-workout 
What I'm saying is that if all you're doing is posting pre-workout, pre-workout protein shakes and you have no results to show for it, what the fuck are you doing? You look like an idiot. You look like a clown. So fucking when I do that and I some I say to someone, yo, I put on my story to let people know that if you're swimming, that if you're splashing in the water, you're not swimming. If you're splashing around in the water, letting people know you're grinding, but you're not really grinding, pro trying to prove to people that you're grinding, but you're really not grinding. What are you doing? You look like an idiot. And I'm trying to help you. I may be clowning you in the moment. I wasn't subbing any particular person. I was just saying in general because I see that shit all the time. People try to clown me, say, oh, he thinks he's better than water. He thinks he's God. I'm like, what, bro? I don't respond to hate anymore. I don't get mad at hate anymore. I just know that I'm doing something more. And if you, people are hating on you, people are talking shit about you, you're doing something right. People told me you should quit football. You should stop. You should stop working out. You fell off. You're this, you're that. If I, and when I did truly believe that I fell off and I really thought I should quit, living through their vision, knowing that they're bums and they sit on the couch and they smoke every day and they're in a fucking frat. Not that I have anything against frats, but fucking, um, because some of my boys are in frats. A lot of my boys are in frats. But regardless, what I'm trying to say is that these fucking bums, these kids that don't do anything with themselves are trying to tell me, oh, you should do this, you should do that, because they're insecure, because they're not in the spot that I'm in. They want to be in my spot. When people want to take your throne, want to take your spot, they will always tell you, oh, you can't do this, oh, you can't do that. Oh, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that. Even your family, bro, even your fucking family, they tell me I shouldn't invest. Some of them, not all of them. They don't even know how much money I put in the market. I don't. I keep all that shit on the low. They should, when I first started, they should, oh, you shouldn't invest, it's too risky. You never take risks, and people tell you, oh my God, you shouldn't do that, oh my God, oh my God, you'll never be successful. People told me, they tell me, oh, you shouldn't, uh, you should quit, you should not quit football, but you should stop pursuing it as hard. You should stop trying to make muscles and start trying to make money. I am making money, but they don't know that. But fucking, they try to tell me, oh, you shouldn't work out as hard. You're gonna hurt yourself. Fuck what they say, bro. Overtraining's a myth. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. They try to tell me, oh, um, you shouldn't take risks in your business. Oh, you shouldn't do this, this, and this. You should try to get a trade. You should try to get a skill. Like, oh, you should do this, this, and this. You should go work in a, in a, in a foundry or some shit. I'm like, bro, what? I'm not trying to be a hard laborer. I'm trying to wear a fucking shirt and tie and run my own shit. Run my own business because I'm my own boss. I live life on my own means. I live and die on my own means. I don't give a fuck what anybody else says about me. I'm fucking sick of it. Honestly, bro. You shouldn't give a fuck about what anyone says about you either. Like, that ass. Fucking crazy, bro. I'm sick of it. Like, if you always live your life with your head on a fucking swivel like a fucking donkey, like a fucking asshole, you will never, ever, ever be successful. And I'm sick of it. Look at my fucking wolves in the background. Look at that shit. Do they look like they're fucking looking around? No, they're staring each other dead in the fucking eye. I'm staring you dead in the fucking eye. Get right today. It's fucking Money Monday. It's Motivation Monday. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my shit. And remember, fuck what they say. Peace out.